everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com, hanging out with ESPN senior writer Jeff Legwald, talking about what else the big news out of Broncos headquarters today. The Broncos naming Paxton Lynch the starter for this week in Oakland. Your initial reaction when this move was made? Uh, Michael, you knew it was coming at some point. I mean, they've, they've been pretty clear in-house that they want to look at Paxton Lynch before they get to the next offseason. It just stands to reason. He's in his second year. He's only made two starts. So they need to get a look because, obviously, with the way this season has gone, they now have an eye toward down the road more than they would have in, in another season. I mean, they, they didn't expect to be in this position, but now that they are, they're going to turn their attention to up the road a little bit. And they'd like to win a few of these games because they know – you know, it's always better to finish on an upswing and keep your fans involved, but they're going to take a look at Paxton Lynch. What message does this send to the rest of the team? Because this is a guy who has lost the job in mm -hmm. training camp the last two years to Trevor Simeon. If Vance Joseph was preaching to his guys, hey, we still have a shot to make the playoffs, why wouldn't he go with Trevor Simeon, the guy who won the job in training camp? I think ultimately the guys in the locker room are pretty pragmatic. They're going to think, all right, three and seven lost six in a row yeah he's a first round pick he's going to play at some point I think that was the prevailing feeling in the locker room that Paxton Lynch was going to play this season at some point so I think they'll they'll sort of take it as yeah expected but it is also a bit of an indication that yeah our attention is down the road some we'd like you to play hard because frankly they're going to make decisions about who stays and who goes so, but it, it is a look at a first round pick that they want to get a look at. I mean, with this move, are the Broncos essentially throwing in the towel on the 2017 season? I think they feel like they can win. I think they still feel like they have a defense where they can win some of these games. Uh, Bill Musgrave, who was named the interim offensive coordinator, will be tasked with simplifying game plans and running the ball more. You're going to see that, you know, the offense Paxton Lynch is in, at least for these initial games, will probably look like the one he was in against Jacksonville last year. His longest completion in that game was 18 yards. He only had three completions in the game over 10 yards. I think you're going to see a compressed offense with that occasionally gives Paxton a, an opportunity to go down the field once in a while. But they are going to close this off a little bit. They think they took too many plays into games and that they got too diversified and they did not stick to what they do well, which is running the ball. What do you expect to see from Paxton Lynch? What can Broncos fans realistically expect from a guy who is only starting his third game in the NFL? Right. Well, and, you know, I, I think patience is the word because uh, they wouldn't start him with this many games left if they weren't thinking patience. This is a six-game window now. This isn't like a two-game, you know, the last two games of the season. He's getting a six-game window and frankly, they did him a favor. They, you know, they gave Brock Osweiler the Philadelphia Eagles in Philly and the New England Patriots. Uh, they gave that to Brock Osweiler. They're giving Paxton Lynch a stretch of six games where they face one defense that's ranked above 23rd in the league. So he's not getting leagues, the league's elite defenses uh, to go against. Uh, he's certainly not getting what... Trevor Simeon and Brock Osweiler went. So he, he gets an easier road than the other two guys have, and I think, frankly, it's intentional. This is three quarterbacks in five games. Do you expect the Broncos to stay with Paxton for the rest of the season? I, I think they want to get an extended look, unless it's just a total, unless his confidence looks shaken, unless he looks like he's regressing. I think, you know, if they see that, they may give him a break and put him back in. Uh, but I think this, this whole section of games now is about looking at Paxton Lynch and trying to do the best they can to win a couple games as they go as well. Not to play devil's advocate, but worst case scenario, yeah. Paxton comes in, the offense continues to struggle. Where does that leave the Broncos going forward and going into next season? Right where they're at now. You know, I, I would say right now anybody who knows John Elway believes – there is nothing that will be off the table in the offseason. I don't think Paxton Lynch can guarantee himself the job next season. They're out right now scouting the best quarterbacks in the 2018 draft. They are, they're making a concerted effort to see those players. Josh Rosen, Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield. They're looking at all the top quarterbacks because if they're in the upper half of the first round, even the top ten, you know, that's where you get the blue chip players. So 
they're making those efforts. So even if Paxton plays great, uh, if the quarterbacks who are kept in this group think they're just going to be alone next camp and not have to worry about it, they would be completely wrong. What does this do for Brock Osweiler now? A guy who's gone from yep. backup, starting three games. Now Trevor will be the backup on Sunday. Where does that leave Brock? It's a tough thing for Brock because he's going to be, he's the only free agent in the group. You know, Paxton's still signed. Trevor has one more year with the Broncos. Brock will be a free agent. He really could have made himself a lot of money if he could have kept the Broncos in the playoff chase or if they would have played well enough around him. You can't put this, like you couldn't put it all on Trevor Simeon. You can't put all this on Brock Osweiler. You know, losing by 28 in Philadelphia is not all on the quarterback. So he got a little run of bad luck, you know, he, and, uh, you know, they fired the offensive coordinator. I mean, there's a lot of sort of disarray going on right now offensively, and he got caught up in that. And unfortunately, he will now go into the free agency market without much of a, a resume to take with him. You know, he, he becomes more of a question mark for team signing up. With all the offensive disarray, is Paxton Lynch going to get a fair shot? I mean, he's got a new offensive coordinator. He's basically got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, obviously a little bit on Saturday to prepare for this game. Is he getting a fair, a fair shot here, at least in week, in week one for him? Certainly, because the offense Brock Osweiler took into the game against the Cincinnati Bengals will not be the offense that Paxton Lynch gets. It will be far smaller. The game plan will be far smaller. There will be more commitment to run the ball. And I would think that they will play with bigger personnel groupings to protect Paxton Lynch better. And I think they'll do some things. They'll roll him out. They'll put him on the move. They'll do the things that make him comfortable. It'll look a lot more like a Gary Kubiak offense than it will a Mike McCoy offense. Uh, you know, that's Bill Musgrave's lineage, the West Coast offense. And, and Gary Kubiak ran a version of that here. So... I think you'll see more of those types of plays, but it will be a far smaller game plan than either Trevor Simeon or Brock Osweiler took into a game this season. Fair to say John Elway wants this to work, right, in terms of going to Paxton I, Lynch? I don't think it's necessarily Paxton. Sure, they're invested in it. He traded up in the first round to get him, but they want the right guy. And if it's Paxton Lynch, great. Then they don't have to do anything else. But they will be on the hunt in the offseason, and they will consider – any option if they don't make the playoffs and it certainly looks like they're not going to uh every single option you can think of will be considered at dove valley espn senior writer jeff legwell dropping by and dropping knowledge as always leggy we appreciate it we'll see you uh, sunday morning sunday morning countdown to kickoff 9 30 make sure you're there in oakland got it got it sounds good thanks so much for logging on to cbsdenver.com